Greetings everyone, this is Snide and Sniff with another episode of Comic Readings. <laughs> this time it's... The Curious Case of the Expanding Batgirl. Sounds promising. Featuring epic content set in the uh, Batman 1966 universe. Starring... Adam West as Batman. We have we have gotten the uh, actor from the original series. He's now like I don't know, yes. 123, um, to star as Batman in this epic uh, comic reading. So, without further ado, let's um get into this. Gotham City, a bustling metropolis, awakens to greet the new day, and with the new day brings about new business. No no no. That's a very bright looking Gotham. Yeah. Busy people keeping up with their busy lives to provide for their families. Dun -dun. Warning, genetic mutation experiment lab. You always want one of them in your city. Yeah. That is def there's definitely nothing that could go wrong there. <laughs> but what's this? It would seem that crime is busy as well. Dun -dun. Oh no, the uh, mime's just beaten up this guy. Or something like that. Great comic. Love how you capture the tone of the show. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful, Miss Quinn? Just the thing I need to commemorate my most special occasion. <laughs> A glorious day indeed. I don't know, Mr. J. It's so small. Oh, Harley, haven't you heard? It's not the size that counts, my dear. It's how you use it. <laughs> Right, right. Yeah. Mm. They sure knew how to sweet dog a girl. Oh god, no! I mean, she's mad, so I guess that's epic, but no. <laughs> too true, too true, my god up damsel. But occasions are meaningless unless you share it! And share it I will! Soon all of Gotham City will share in my celebration! Come, come now, let us make haste. There's so much to do before the big day. <laughs> <laughs> that is, without question, the Caesar Romero version of the Joker. His name is Caesar, okay. Apparently. Right down to the bleached moustache, like... It... What can I do for you, Chief O'Hara? I'm afraid I have some bad news, Commissioner. It would seem like the Joker, that dastardly devil of a jester, has struck again. This time he took some kind of experimental chemicals from Gotham Labs. Odd theft, isn't it? Indeed. But if the Joker is involved, it's sure to be used for some evil scheme, a plot with which to harm the good people of the city. Gotham is no longer safe. <laughs> Gotham was totally safe before. But what could his intentions be? I have a fine legal man ready in command, but this might be too much even for them. Regrettably, I have to agree, Chief O'Hara. This is a job for any one man. The only man who has ever stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Joker and beat him at his own games. I'll make the call. Dun dun dun. Meanwhile, at Stately Wayne Manor, millionaire Bruce Wayne and faithful ward Dick Grayson <laughs> enjoy a quiet afternoon of reading, exercising their minds on worldly knowledge. Advanced aerodynamics and practical physics theory. That sounds pretty complicated. <laughs> Gosh, Bruce, I don't think I'll ever be able to wrap my head around this subject of physics. There's just so much to learn. I just don't see the point of it all. Don't be silly, Dick. The study of physics, gravity, and other inner workings of the natural world give us a deep <laughs> sense of perspective. Where would technology be if a man didn't study the mechanics of flight? Or the way pressure affects living <clears throat> beings both above and below the Earth's surface? It's all connected, Dick, and understanding these connections will surely deepen our relations with our fellow man. Gee, you're right, Bruce. Never thought of it that way. I'll be sure to study the subject harder. Right away, sir. I'll get him. Master Wayne, I'm afraid you have an urgent call waiting in the study. I'm sorry I didn't do him with the Michael Caine voice. Maybe I should. Oh boy! I wonder what it could be! Thank you, Alfred. Come on, Dick. <laughs> Time for these two to go to work, in the most straight and platonic way possible. Yes, Commissioner, what can I do for you? Batman, you'd better brace yourself for quite a shock. Your old nemesis, the Joker, has struck again. Him again? So no more, Commissioner. We're on our way. To the Bat Pose. Batman, starring 
Adam West. Yes, this is indeed. Wait, hang on. How are we getting Adam West if he's dead? We've. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> They're in their suits now, yeah. Yes, the coolest bat suit ever, and the coolest. Uh, the only Robin <laughs> suit, yeah. No, nah, they're. I mean, okay, well, the. Batman and Robin was is is, is a is a terrible movie that everyone hates, but he did have like yeah. a cooler suit in that movie, I guess. Like there is the the cool Robin suit that they made because this is just a bit too silly. <laughs> the Curious Case of the Expanding Bat Girl, Part One: What Goes Up, written by Jed Soriano. Wow. Atomic batteries to power, turbines to speed. Roger. Moving out. Special guest villain. Cesar Romero as the Joker. Special guest villainess. Okay. Elki Sommer as Harley Quinn. Okay, the bat car is pretty cool. That's that's quite cool looking. Based on the case of the expanding bat girl by Will Turner. Wow. Artwork by Jed Soriano. No, 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 no. So basically, the only guy who worked on this is Jed, but he's for some reason crediting a whole lot of... Uh, old or deceased actors. Wow. Batman arrives at the office and he does his little, like, <laughs> symbol of Batness or something like that. This is a delicate situation indeed, Commissioner. And the Joker hasn't sent any threats? No, Batman. The case just gets stranger by the minute. It isn't like him to leave us with nothing. No taunts. No puzzling puns. Curious. I fear this caper may be his largest yet. We've no choice but to wait until he makes his next move. We're in the defensive, Commissioner. We're nine pages in and nothing weird has happened. I'm sorry, you <laughs> fans. This is like a totally normal look <laughs> comic reading, <laughs> accidentally. Everyone's like, where's the- when does Batman get fat? <laughs> Holy hidden harlequins! We'll be on the lookout. Now we must be on our way. Don't you have somewhere to be tonight as well? Ah oh, yes, you're quite right. The police charity ball hosted by millionaire Bruce Wayne. But how do you know of such an event? I don't know how he would know of that event. He accidentally revealed his identity. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's my responsibility to know of such events where wealthy, influential members of Gotham society gather. Villains are attracted to such locales as means to easy money. I guess that makes sense. He, he always has a plan. He easily got out of it. Holy high life! You don't think the Joker would strike there? With so many policemen gathered at the same place? It's very unlikely, old chum. The Joker would have to be mad, but nonetheless, we'll be cautious. Well, thank goodness he isn't mad. <laughs> I see Robin loves the alliteration. That's his whole character. Yeah, what the hell. <laughs> that evening at the charity ball. Police charity, what police ch Guess it's Gotham, so everyone's like, like, the police. No one else is brave enough to host a charity ball. Gotham's well to do mingle with Gotham's noble police force. This is quite a gathering, Commissioner. I believe I feel as safe here as I do in my own living room at Wayne Manor. You'll do even better to know that the Batman and the Boy Wonder Robin are close by. It's hard to imagine anyone would be crazy enough to target this charity event considering it's guests in blue. I do hope you're right, Mr. Wayne. All the same, best to be prepared for the worst. Oh, but the worst is always the best part! And I would be careful who you call crazy, Mr. Wayne. We have a nasty habit of doing the unexpected. <laughs> Ta-da! Nobody move. Oh, Gordo, here gets it. This looks like a job for Batgirl. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so pleased everyone could be here. Tonight we celebrate a joyous occasion. My birthday! My surprise birthday! Now please, kindly relinquish your checkbooks and your wallets of my gifts. For we can't have a party without people, presents, or balloons! <laughs> and that... Is where oh. we leave this off, just before we get into any actual good content. Yeah. <laughs> the good content is next chapter. It's non-stop, just gigantic Batgirl. Yes, yes, that's right. So stay tuned for the next episode, same Bat time, same Bat <laughs> channel, whatever. Well, thanks very much, and we will be back next time. Bye, folks!